Alright guys, what is up? And today I am bringing you a 60 and 7 gameplay. This actually isn't mine, this is from a friend uh, that's on my friends list. This is his gameplay, his link will be in the description. And uh, the reason I'm using someone else's gameplay is that last night I played on the maps, but I didn't really get too long of a chance to play it because I was busy last night. I went to the movies, I did a workout, and I had homework, so I legitimately didn't have a whole lot of time. But the two games that I did get that were recorded, um, I didn't have theater, theater turned on, and I wasn't recording live, so uh, I didn't actually have any games uh, stored in my uh, theater mode, so... I had to borrow friends, and this was the only friend that I noticed on my friends list at the time that had the uh, map packs or was playing them, so I was just using his gameplay. So, now since that's out of the way, I have decided to kind of break down the maps and let you guys know what I think about them on the, I don't even, what's the name of this like map pack? It's like Upcoming or something like that, the Uprising map pack. Either way, I'll let you guys know what I think about the maps and just overall the DLC in general. So let's start off with uh, Mob of the Dead, uh, which is the Zombies map. Zombies is a whole lot different this time around from the normal Zombies. It's like it's almost like a different mode in general. Uh, they, they changed it up a, whole, like a large amount. Uh, I was a little confused when I first got it, but it doesn't take long to understand that it's, you know, not too different from the regular Zombie mode. But uh, Mob of the Dead is a really fun map. I only got to play it once, but uh, from what I did get to play of it, it seemed really good and really fun. Uh, I really like the Alcatraz feeling. Uh, it looked, it seems kind of like a, a bigger map than you'd think, even though it's only a prison. Um, I definitely like to play it a bit more than I have right now. Even though I'm not a huge zombies guy, it looks like a fun map, and uh, I, like I said, I like the Alcatraz feel. Uh, I've never been too huge on zombies, but the last map uh, that just came out, uh, what was it called? Not, not the Alcatraz map, not Mob of the Dead, uh, Die Rise. That was a fun map. Since then, I've been playing zombies a bit more, so... That's pretty much what I think of the zombies. So, let's talk about the multiplayer maps. The Map Studio, which is the Firing Range remake, which I hopefully I can get a gameplay for you on all of these maps uh, soon. Um, the Firing Range remake uh, studio is really good. Um, I think it's the best map out of them all, but I, I'm it's almost like a biased opinion just because I love Firing Range so much. Uh, it's not really a new map in general, it's just rescaled Firing Range from Black Ops 1. But I would say it is my favorite map out of all of them. Definitely a really fun map. I like what they did with Firing Range in a way. Uh, how they made it like a, I guess you could say a movie setup or like a, I don't know, where they shoot movies and stuff like that. They got like Jurassic Park and, you know, the Midwest and like an alien invasion. They kind of made it all into one big map, which is really cool. Um, definitely a really good map, but I still feel like Firing Range is better. Not just because it's the original, but I feel like that map just plays better on... Uh, Black Ops 1 than it does on this game for some reason just like Nuketown It seems like uh, the rescaled maps they play better on the original Black Ops for some reason I'm not entirely sure why but it just feels like it plays better on the first one Still a good map though and uh, really do enjoy it the next map I want to talk about is Magma Magma is probably my least favorite map out of them all uh, It's not a bad map in any way, but it's really campy and it's got a lot of long lines of sight um, and it takes a long time to do the uh, flanking if you want to get around the sides. Kind of reminds me of uh, Rundown from MW2, how BDOM was right in the middle of the bridge and it was like impossible to get, and that's like the only way to get on it. There's only one extra or uh, one entrance and one exit on and off. And uh, I don't know, it's not necessarily a bad map. I don't really like the way the lava flow or like the magma or whatever you want to call it. Like I think it's a neat idea. Don't get me wrong that they've you know innovated something. Uh, I guess you could say that's. Uh, plays a role in the game that you can't touch and it takes off uh, different rush routes and stuff like that but I don't know it just doesn't really seem like it's made for Call of Duty in a way um, I don't know why definitely not a bad map I'm just not a huge fan of uh, how the map kind of plays out but still definitely like I said uh, it's better than some of the original maps so can't really complain the next map which is I'm on right now is called Encore Encore is probably my favorite map that's not rescaled uh, I don't really count Studio is almost a new map just because it's just firing range. So out of all the new maps, the three new ones, this one is my favorite that you guys are watching right now. It's a, uh, I guess you could say like a, a stage of, uh, I guess, uh, I can't think of a, what this is, a concert. <laughs> I can't think of a concert. Um, 
it's like the stage of a concert and you're pretty much in the arena and uh, you get to run around stuff like that. It's kind of like a big circle in a way and you can go underneath the stage that takes you there and there's a couple different flank routes. Um, really good map. I like the way how it plays. It plays like a Treyarch map. Um, I feel like the Black Ops 2 maps, some of them, they don't feel like Treyarch made them in this game. You know what I mean? Like the original, uh, you know how Black Ops 1 and you know uh, World at War kind of had that Treyarch flow? It seems like a lot of maps in Black Ops 2 don't feel like they have that Treyarch flow, but uh, this map definitely feels like uh, you know a good Treyarch map. Kind of reminds me of Stadium. Not sure why that is. Um, just kind of reminds me of that. Um, but yeah, I really like how it plays out, and uh, it's really good for objective game modes uh, in general. Like Domination plays awesome on it, like you guys are seeing right now, and I uh, just really enjoy this map as a as a whole, really. And the final multiplayer map out of them all is Vertigo, and it's kind of a crazy map. It kind of reminds me of Drone because all the sliding doors, but it's really um, just a skyscraper kind of thing that's really action-packed. It seems like a lot of submachine gun play is going to be played out in the middle. I've only been able to play this one a couple times, so I don't really have the greatest um, you know, opinion on it. It's definitely not a bad map. I think it was fun. I think it's going to be a lot of close-quarter combat and you know, close objective games, but... That's pretty much my thoughts and opinions on the new maps. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave some feedback. Tell me what you guys think of the map.